All right, guys, it's June. The economy and things still have not turned around. Uh, we need to have a serious conversation. Let's get into it. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. Um, just want to say, first and foremost, my apologies for the uh, lack of uploads recently. I've been working on my other stuff going on in life. I just came back from Georgia for a week of vacation, took the Volkswagen down there, uh, had a great old time. We were down in Helen, right there, you can see it. I uh, had a great time. I was off Monday to Monday, uh, kind of focused on that, having a good old time, not thinking about trucking and life and the state of the economy and things of everything else that was going on. So um, I'm gonna try to get back to some uh, more of a sense of normalcy in terms of upload schedule and things like that. I appreciate all the new comments and subscribers. I haven't really been messing with YouTube too much. Uh, I got a stuff, I got a lot of stuff I got to reply to and comments and uh, questions and concerns and all that. Uh, I will get back to doing that. But um, in terms of today, it is uh, May 31st. So June 1st is right around the corner. By the time you're seeing this, it'll probably be June already. So um, state of the uh, market and the union, I guess, for lack of better terms here at uh, Sweet and the trucking market and everything as a whole. Um, yeah, it's it's now June. We're just not looking any better. Um, it's sad to say, it's sad to report. Uh, diesel is still high. I bought diesel yesterday at 453 a gallon in Pennsylvania. Um, rates are still down. Uh, I don't know if you, if you guys are familiar with the freight rates and everything that uh, trucking companies or if you're an owner operator or lease guy you know all about the rates being down uh, they're just not good to give you an idea I don't know this firsthand but I talked to a lot of people that know a lot more about this than I do um, behind the scenes and we kind of need to be like for us to haul a load we kind of need to be at least like two to three dollars a mile per se for it to make sense business wise to put fuel in the truck, to pay me, the driver, to pay the person in Grand Rapids, to keep the lights on, to keep everybody money, or keep everybody happy and make money and all that. And we have just not been there. So uh, freight rates are just not been great, dude. We're getting like a dollar or something on broker rates, if we're lucky, like a dollar or something and change. It's just not been good. And uh, I should say, I should preface by saying that I'm not really here to fear monger or to like, get everybody all tied up and scared that you know the apocalypse is coming and doomsday is here and all that but it is a time to be more thoughtful and careful about all the things that we are doing whether it be at our own personal jobs as company drivers or just if you're a lease purchase or owner operator my hats are off to you i wish you all the best in this market it's it's been fucking terrible and but that goes without saying but uh it's just it's it's not been good and I, I don't really see an end in sight. I'm by no means an expert in uh, economic analysis and financial literacy and all that. I'm just a guy that drives a truck that has learned all this as he kind of has went along. So um, it's not been good. It has not been good, but uh, we're just trying to get through it. It's important for everybody to remember and to understand that we just got to keep doing what we're doing, making on-time deliveries, keeping appointments, keeping promises, keep the lights on. Um, but sweet, unfortunately, and I'm, I'm sure a lot of other trucking companies out there are kind of have to implement some changes to things uh, to kind of, you know, see ourselves through this tough economic time to keep themselves in business and to keep all of our jobs. So, uh, for example, starting June 1st, uh, for all my regional guys, and I guess it's OTR as well, uh, we will no longer be paying empty miles going to the house. So traditionally on a Friday, I would unload somewhere near home relatively and then just bounce home empty well and get paid those miles but well starting june 1st uh we will no longer be doing that uh until further notice so we will no longer be getting paid empty miles to bounce back to the house so uh, another new rule going in place is that uh dms have been instructed to go ahead and try and find loads for regional driver or for every driver you know to deliver after home time so for example if we make a delivery on friday uh, the DM is then instructed to help and see if we can find another load that makes sense that we can pick up on Friday and deliver on Monday. So 
if we're leaving, for example, I'm in Connecticut right now, say if this was that situation, they would find a load that picked up in Connecticut that delivered somewhere near the house. For me, that's in Pennsylvania. I would go home, come out on Monday, and then make my delivery, and then, you know, start my week from there. So, it's a, it's kind of a bad thing. It kind of sounds like gloom and doom up front, but in reality, you know, Sweet is going to be making more money off it. Um, us as the drivers, we're going to be getting all those miles paid and then obviously another load for Monday. So that's not, it's not great, but it's not bad. I mean, it is what it is. And uh, this is just some of the things that I've heard so far recently that, uh, that are being implemented and changed a little bit to kind of, you know, help us navigate through this tough economic time. Um, we have like, I think I saw about like 40-ish or so regional drivers on the board, or at least my DM has about 40 or so regional drivers, I think, ish or so. And all the, say if we, all of us are going home on a Friday and we're all empty, all of our trucks are seen all over the weekend, that's like $100,000-ish over a month's time that we're just not getting paid. The trucks aren't moving, they're not making any money. So if we can, you know, run a load or take a home, take a load home through the weekend, deliver on Monday, at least we're making money over that period of time instead of just costing money, driving home, going home empty, and then starting out empty on Monday. So this is what we're trying to do so far. Not me as in I like I have any say in all this. This is what Sweet is trying to do. And these are these are the things that I've been told as a driver here so far. Uh, it's only June 1st and I'm hoping and praying that things kind of turn around so we can kind of get to some back to some more sense of a normalcy uh, in terms of our schedule and how we run things. Because when the market's good and everything's great, money's good, we're getting it hand over fist, it's not really a problem. but and you know situations like this it's not so good so um it's it's just things have been tough and we just need to remember while we're here what we're doing this all for whether it be you know what kind of responsibilities people might have or while we're doing this job whether we like it or if we need the money or whatever we need to remember what's important here and to if we want to keep making money at least at sweet express we need to try our best to do the best that we can at all times you know we're not going to be flipping trucks we got to still be making appointment times being somewhere that we're told we need to be at and that the customers are expecting us to be at whether it be 8 a.m appointment time if you got to wake up early leave the house a little bit earlier it's a sacrifice we all have to make me being included and trust me i'm not happy about it but um it is what it is i'm just doing the best that i can to see through this part it's gonna be tough and it, it's not so bad right now um but we kind of got some we got some other things in the works as well we're trying to come up with new new customers new lanes of travel that will um be more profitable monetarily for us to keep things you know the way that they're going good you know keep things afloat but uh for example right now like i said i'm in connecticut right now we have this uh it's almost like it's like a round trip they're calling it a round trip but it's almost kind of like a dedicated it's not a dedicated lane per definition but it, it, it's the closest thing that i've seen here so far ish um it's it's we deliver it's a load of pallets for this americold refrigerated food storage warehouse here in plainville connecticut the place is currently under construction it's being built right now but uh we have been i've been here a couple times over the past couple weeks uh delivering the wooden pallets for the food to go in and out on whatever um and the place that i pick it up as pick it up at is in uh saint mary's pennsylvania which is like northwestern pa it's exit uh, 111 off I-80 there, so it's like kind of out western. Uh, in between here and there is about seven, six and a half, seven hours, depending on traffic and all that. And uh, so I'm delivering here right now a new load from St. Mary's of fresh pallets going into this place. Uh, later on, uh, it's about three o'clock now, so about four o'clock, a, a different crew comes in and they're gonna load me up with old, crusty, non-usable, like, not great pallets to be sent back directly to the shipper in St. Mary's, the same pallet place we picked up at, 
we're going to deliver those old pallets to be refreshed, to be recycled, to be renewed. And we, when we deliver there in St. Mary's, we reload with another load coming right back here to Plainville, Connecticut, to Americold, and we're going to deliver a fresh set of pallets back. So it's kind of, it's the closest thing to ded dedicated that I've seen here so far. Um, but it's something. It's something that's going to be uh, a round trip for me. It actually goes kind of through Pennsylvania, part of Pennsylvania, near where I live in the Poconos. So it'll be able to, for example, I'm going to take this load. I'm going to go back, and when it's time for me to go home on Friday, I'm basically going to be running this round trip all week. Um, it's Wednesday for context right now. I'm going to be taking a load from here on Friday, going home for the weekend, and then off to St. Mary's Monday for delivery. And then the process continues. But um, that's just one example. Um, there's a lot of things that we're trying to do to combat all this right now, but we're gonna wait and see what happens and uh, we're just gonna go from that point, so. Payday. Sorry, they just came back out with my paperwork, so I had to get that all signed. Side note, my voice is like dry and hoarse and cracky. I went to a uh, concert, went to go see Blink-182, one of my favorite bands from like 20 years ago over the weekend in uh, Hershey. Shout out to them guys, man. They've been doing it for like almost three, 30 years now, um, on and off. It's still playing the same songs they played 20 years ago, but it's all the fan favorites and everything. Just my voice is just not, hasn't recovered yet. And that was on Saturday, it's not Wednesday. So <clears throat> my apologies for that. It sounds a little hoarse and scratchy or whatever, but um, yeah. <sighs> Getting back to what we were talking about before. Um, do the best that you guys can uh everybody's obviously we're it's all in our best interest to keep this business afloat and to keep going um things are a little tough right now and it's gonna be tough for us it's gonna be tough for them i'm sure you know there's a lot more going on behind the scenes than what i'm being told or what what's being whispered around so uh I'm just a driver and this is just what I hear through the grapevine. Obviously I do my best to get things confirmed if they're like rumors or not, but rules are these new rules that I just talked about earlier are, are real and they're being implemented right now. So um, it's for the foreseeable future until kind of things kind of turn around. So the only thing is um, like situation like this, sorry, this guy's over there walking out. Um, like this load it's now three o'clock and i gotta wait till four till this other crew comes in to load me back up it's there are two separate ones i guess here so it's kind of a waiting game and it's gonna be a balancing act till i kind of figure out the best way to kind of run this round trip because i still am looking at uh six and a half hours this thing is saying to get back to st mary's and i got 654 left on my drive clock right now so um it's gonna be a balancing act so um I know I knew that there was more, but I can't remember. I think I covered all the main points I wanted to cover, at least off the top of my head. Um, any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to drop them down below, guys. Uh, again, my apologies for the lack of kind of uploading recently. I haven't forgotten about it. I'm still trying to get this YouTube thing off the ground, and it, it's getting there. Uh, shout out to all my new and old subscribers, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you so very much. Um, looking to bring you more content on a more regular basis here soon get back to again a sense of normalcy as far as that's concerned and uh yeah just staying on with the youtube train yeah it gives me something to do and it's something fun and i can you know express myself and creatively here a little bit so i'm enjoying it so with all that being said if you guys are enjoying it please feel free to subscribe it would mean a lot we're trying to get this i'm trying to get this channel off the ground and I'm almost to the point, I never thought I would get to this point, but I'm almost to the point where I can become monetized and make a little scratch from this. So, um, yeah, if you like this kind of stuff, feel free to check out my old content. Um, I do a ton of stuff talking about sweet and what it's like driving here. If you think about driving for sweet, link down in the description box below. I'll have the name and the phone number to the recruiter of the website. I'll have links to other videos talking about sweet more specifically in general about what it's like working here what you can expect day to day equipment pay miles etc so on and so forth check all that stuff out uh, but i think that's about all i got for this video guys thank you so very much for watching subscribe if you're new drop your comments down below and uh, we will talk to you in the next one peace